Welcome fellow recovery pilgrims. I'm Jonathan and in this recovery discovery session, I want to talk about love again. In the previous recovery discovery post, I talked about the importance of receiving love in order to live sober and free. In this post, I want to talk about the need to give love in your recovery. By way of reminder, love is defined as pursuing the good of someone else at your own expense. It's self-sacrificing for the benefit of others. So here are three reasons why you must learn to love others if you want to experience all the benefits that recovery has to offer. First, love transfers your focus to others. If love is pursuing the good of someone else, then you have to focus on someone else. Addiction trains you to increasingly focus on yourself. So learning to focus on others is essential to real recovery. God's word exhorts us to do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. When you train yourself to focus on others' needs, you accelerate your own recovery. Secondly, love teaches sacrifice and humility. To love is not only to pursue the good of someone else, but to do so at your own expense. Love isn't love until a sacrifice has been made. Simply wishing someone well isn't love. Jesus said it this way, greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. And to sacrifice for someone else requires humility, which is a foundational trait of anyone who is experiencing true recovery. Finally, love is the only path to true happiness. The lie of addiction is that happiness will come by getting everything you want. But the reality is that the more we make life all about ourselves, the more miserable life becomes. Happiness, real deep joy, is only found in loving others well, in laying down your life for the good of someone else. Jesus did this for us when, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross. He loved us to death, knowing that joy or happiness was on the other side of suffering. Who has God placed in your life that you need to love? What's blocking you from humbling yourself and loving them sacrificially? Repent today of your selfish past and embrace God's grace to take steps towards giving love. This is certain to cause flourishing in your recovery. Thanks for listening. If you have a recovery discovery you'd like to share with us, please send it to recoverydiscovery at puresexradio.com or text it to 210-549-8748. And until next time, keep pressing on. Thank you.